Hey folks, my name is Mikkel Michaels, and today I am going to be doing a TCA peel. This is my very first TCA peel um, that I've ever done, so you're going to follow me on my journey. Um, I'm going to do it about seven days. Every day I'm going to do an update so you can see um, everything, so you can see how the whole thing turns out. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the things that you're going to need for your TCA peel. Uh, so first and foremost, you are going to need a um, TCA uh, chemical peel. Um, I got mine online. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I got mine from Skin Obsession and this is a 25% peel. Now you can get the peels in different um, percentages. So this is one of the highest that I found. Um, so I'm hoping that this will be okay. Uh, but you can get it and I've seen it in 15, I've seen it in 18, I've seen it in 20, but I'm going to go for the gusto and use the 25%. So that's, that's what I have is the, um, is the Skin Obsession TCA peel. The next thing you're going to need is, um, some type of like alcohol because you're going to use that after you clean your face. You're going to need it to dry your face um, before you put the peel on. So I am using this. This is actually systolic acid, um, but um, it's it. You can use alcohol too if you want to. Um, you will need some either cotton balls or um, cotton squares, cotton circles. Um, I've also seen it used with a paintbrush. I'm going to try this method this time and. I'll tell you how it works. Uh, for the after prep, after you have done the mask and you've taken it off, you are going to need um, cool water with baking soda, and that's going to neutralize the the TCA um, chemicals, so it'll stop it from working or going any deeper. So you'll need that as well. And then um, after, you will need a moisturizer. So I'm actually going to use Neosporin. Um, because I feel like Neosporin helps um, heal better, and I'm also going to use Vaseline too. Um, Vaseline is going to be around my lips. I'm going to put Vaseline around my eyes, so the TCA uh, peel doesn't get any anywhere near those sensitive areas. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually steam my face. So I like to steam and wash my face first to get the pores open. Um, I'm actually going to do um, an exfoliant. I don't know if that's, if that's recommended, so I'll let you know how that works out. And, um, and we're going to get started. So first what I'm going to do is, is steam my face, uh, which I'm going to use a boiling pot of water. I actually don't have my steamer here where I'm at. Um, and I'll steam my face first. I'll cleanse it, um, I'll exfoliate, um, I'll wash it, I'll dry it, make sure it's dry, and then we'll go right into the, um, the TCA peel. Now, the other thing that I forgot to tell you, too, that you're going to need is a um, fan. Um, I will have a, excuse me, so you'll need a fan, and I have a fan here. So, I will have a hand fan as well to fan it because it is gonna gonna warm up around your face so you want to have something that is going to cool it down and give you um, a little um, cooling sensation so let's get right into it I'm, I'm excited to do this I've been waiting forever to do it so let's see okay so as you can see I have a boiling pot of water and I am going to just basically steam my face for just a little while. So I'm gonna turn off the fire or the flame. I stick a towel over it and then basically just put my head in. So obviously you would have it cover covering, but I'm gonna do this just so you can kind of see. Um, it is hot, so you don't wanna burn your skin. You just wanna kind of lightly steam it. So I'm just going to go ahead and steam for just a little while, and then I'll come back out. And I don't put my face too far down, because you don't really need to. And 
and this actually feels really really good now I like to put um, my own type of cleanser in the water while it's boiling so it kind of steams up into my pores as well and it feels great so you can see how it makes my face my skin you know it's glowing now obviously um, and it, it does feel really well really good I love to see my skin Ooh, that feels really good okay so that's the steaming part okay so now that my skin and my pores my skin is wet or moist and my pores are open I am going to take um, my Neutrogena um, exfoliator I love this you, I got it at Target with the little exfoliating pads and you can actually buy these separate after you run out um, very reasonably priced so you just take it you put it right on okay and then all you gotta do is really just wet that and it actually already has its own crystals and things in there if you want to add another like exfoliator I just use a cheap one you know it doesn't matter um, I was using clean and clear this is just the uh, Walmart brand and then you just kind of turn it on and then you're gonna work in circulate circular motions And then I like doing this on like my cheekbones. I like going up and down. And after I'm done with it, it feels so good, my skin. And I do this about three times a week, actually. At night before I go to bed. And then I put my moisturizer on. After I do this, I clean it off with the uh, astringent or systolic acid and then I um, I put some other creams on too that I'll discuss in another video and um, then put my moisturizer on and go to bed and often I like to use a, a peeling mask as well um, that you, it basically comes in a gel it's a cucumber peeling mask and it comes in a gel and you just basically rub it on, you let it dry, and then I wear that to bed. And then I wake up and my skin is so dewy and moist when I take it off. And it doesn't come off, actually. It stays on the whole night. So I actually sleep in it. It's really relaxing, too, because it tightens. So I, the reason I am doing the TCA uh, mask today is because I would like to get a fresh layer of skin to come up and I have some hyperpigmentation around my forehead that I want to even out with the rest of my face um, I'm trying to even out my, my, my skin tone so that's why I'm doing that I also have a black spot here that I'm trying to lift as well. I have also heard that the TCA masks are really good if you have like a pimple. So like let's say you got like a breakout right here. You could just take like a, a cotton swab or a, um, a Q-tip and just dab some of that on there. Go through the whole process like we're going to go through it and then um, let it just fall off. I'm going to put the cool water in now 
because I'm going to need that in a moment. Okay. And then I'm going to take and I'm just going to dry off this area. Okay, while that's drying, I'm going to get this ready. So basically the petroleum jelly makes sure that you don't go in those areas because I don't want to go in those areas with um, the, the mask because these are like my really sensitive areas. Okay. So now I'm all prepared and I'm ready. So here we go. I'm just putting enough. My skin is really dry. Okay, so I'm going to start with my forehead. Do my nose. I can already feel it, actually. It just feels like a tingle right now. Now, previous to this, I had been using some lightening agents because um, that actually is my the overall goal for me is to lighten some of my skin. Um, and it's not just certain spots. I am trying to lighten my skin. Um, like it or love it, that's what I'm trying to do. And um, we'll talk about that in another video. Um, the reasons why I'm trying to lighten my skin it has nothing to do with self-hatred self -hatred or anything like that. I love being a beautiful black man, and I look beautiful the way I am, I know, but um, I just want to do something different. Um, so I have been using um, a cream that has um, hydrocornone. I have a number of different cream creams that have hydrocornone. I am going to be switching to some more natural um, alternatives very, very soon. So, all right. So yeah, I definitely feel it. Um, I'm going to turn this fan on. <laughs> 